Hi, my name is Sean Walker. I'm a Principal Product Success Architect and part of the Ranger team here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Value Builder. So this video is part two of a five-part video series on the Success Portal. So make sure you watch those other videos to see how all the components of the Success Portal work together to help really mature your SAM practice. So today we're going to talk about Value Builder and talk about what it is. We're going to talk about Value Builder tasks, and then we're going to get into a demo where we actually go through and create a couple Value Builder tasks. What is Value Builder? So Value Builder is on the success portal, and it really helps you maximize the usage of your SAM application capabilities by really getting insights into those integrations, playbooks, and other, other installations you could potentially do. So the value builder lets you learn how close your instance is to maximizing the value of the SAM application. It allows you to track uh, value builder tasks that are automatically generated when publisher packs aren't fully used and or identified as incomplete. Uh, it allows you to manually create a bunch of value builder tasks. Uh, and you can actually assign those tasks to other departments and to other parts of the organization um, to really help you bring more value into SAM. Um, you can prioritize and increase the visibility of certain tasks. You can mark them as favorites. Uh, and you can also stay up to date with the new features that are available or coming available in the newer releases. So this is a, a screenshot from the Value Builder um, dashboard. And there's some really cool widgets on this dashboard that really help you make sure the health and, and all, of the, all of the pieces of SAM application are, are installed in your environment. So the very first one is your SAM apps and plugins. And this displays all the plugins that are related to SAM that have been installed and have not been installed in your instance. So this will allow you to review through what hasn't been installed and see if that's something you want to go ahead and move forward with installing so you can gain the value from it. The publisher pack utilization is the same concept. It goes through and it identifies, you know, what publisher packs have been installed, what have not. And then if they find usage for that publisher, it takes a look to see if you have any entitlements in the system um, for that specific metric group. So it really helps identify, you know, hey, you've got some usage of say Oracle, but you haven't got your entitlements in there yet. So you might want to look at doing that. Um, the next one's a really cool one called usage under management. And so this helps track the usage of or the software usage. So if you have usage data coming in from your instance, from either any one of your discovery sources that can bring in usage information, or from say maybe your SaaS providers that bring in usage information, um, <clears throat> and it finds this usage, does it have any models associated with it? So it's basically going to say, do you have any entitlements? Uh, are you missing entitlements for this particular? Hey, we've got usage. You might want to consider getting your entitlements in so you can start optimizing that particular publisher or product. Um, and the next widget is basically a breakdown of all your different value builders, tasks that will kind of allow you to keep track of where you are with those particular tasks by their status. Again, Value Builder tasks allow you to create and manage and expand the use of your SAM application. So, for example, from that last um, screen we showed the widgets, you know, if you want to install the plugin, for example, for the Content Portal Library, um, you know, it was identified in the SAM uh, missing SAM apps and plugins list. Um, you can go ahead and create a Value Builder task to go ahead and install that. So you could then also assign that task to another group or department. Uh, one last thing is value builder tasks can also be associated with your success goal. So it helps kind of bring them all together. Now I'm going to jump into an instance and take you through the creation of value builder tasks. All right, I've now logged into my Washington instance of ServiceNow and I've gone to the software asset workspace and to the success portal. So to get to Value Builder, we come and click on Value Builder. 
So here are those widgets we showed in the presentation. So we can see here we got a list of SAM apps and plugins that are complete in this instance and incomplete in this instance. We also see publisher packs, ooh, ooh, eight out of eight. So everything is installed and ready in this environment. We can see here, this is the usage under management. So we can see we've got 95 that are complete, but we got 86 that are incomplete. Maybe let's take a look at those incomplete ones. So I can drive into these widgets and see here what we've got. So we can see that this NCAP product usage is found equals true, entitlement created equals false. So this is that example where uh, we have usage information in our system for this NPCAP product, but we don't have entitlements. So maybe we should start uh, monitoring and working on compliance position, trying to optimize this particular product. So you can kind of see here's another one where workspace, whatever this product happens to be, usage found false, entitlement created true. So this is one where we don't have usage information, but we do have an entitlement. Um, so again, on the value builder uh, dashboard, you can see different tasks that are in progress. We can see any favorites that may have been added. You can have, uh, there's a few success guides that are available that you might want to consider walking through. And these success guides, if I open one up, um, you can go ahead and take a look. And sometimes there'll be links in here to um, say maybe KB articles or something or other documentation on how you might want to be success, how you might be successful in these particular products. And there's a bunch of value builder tasks and these are all created based off kind of what's installed in your environment and things you might want to go ahead and consider. So if you remember in our, our last video, we were talking about, we created a successful goal for visibility into our end user compute environment. Um, and one was for Windows, one was for, uh, one was for uh, Apple devices. So we talked about integrating, you know, having a goal to integrate with SCCM and Jamf. So we can see here on the value builder tasks, there's already one here for Jamf and there's also one here for the service graph connector. So I can actually go through and I can actually take a look at what this value builder task is for SCCM. And, when I read through it, I go, oh yeah, that's exactly what we want to be able to do um, to be able to get visibility. So we can actually align this to our success goal that we created earlier for visibility into end user compute assets. And we can actually assign this like we did to the goal. We can actually assign this to that SCCM support group um, for them to work on this particular value builder task. And we can save this and then when the team is ready to start this, um, they can go ahead and start this activity to um, do the integration with SCCM. So I'm just gonna start this and save it. And then I'm gonna come back in here. And if I just refresh this, it should start showing up into the in progress. So now I've got the SCCM showing up here and I've got um, Jamf showing up here. And I can actually go into the Jamf one. Oh, look, it's not associated with the goal because that task was created. So let's just go clean that up and say, hey, this should be assigned, uh, should be created for, or sorry, assigned to that goal. And we should maybe make sure it's assigned to the Jamf support team. And we can save this one. And again, you can track all your work notes um, just like you would on any other incident or case or anything like that to be able to track the progress of this particular value builder task. Okay, so now we have two value builder tasks that are directly associated to our goals. Um, and we can go ahead and, and uh, start working on those particular goals and activities. Um, you can create manual uh, value builder tasks. So it could be integrate with, um, I'm not sure, let's see, Intune, for example. Maybe Intune has all our mobile devices. Um, and we want to track that. Uh, and again, so it's again, creating a, a, a manual value builder task is very much like um, any other task creation. Gives you categories, right? In this case, it's already set to integration, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we want to assign this to, I don't think there's an Intune group in there. Let's just assign it to the, oh, sorry, not the assign to, the assignment group. 
we can put it to that SCCM group because the SCCM group manages both my Intune and SCCM. And I can save this. Oh, sorry, I can also assign it to that success goal. Maybe I need to actually create another task on that success goal for Intune, or sorry, activity, I should say, success activity for Intune. And we can save this um, and assign to them. So we'll leave that as not started. <clears throat> so that's basically how you would quickly go through and assign a uh, create a new manual task um, for for creating value builder tasks so it all depends on what you're trying to achieve what are you trying to drive value for do they relate back to your success goals etc um, one of the other things that you can't really see in this instance but uh, because this is a washington instance so there aren't really any new updates coming but as the as the newer uh, in releases of ServiceNow come out, you'll start to see some potentially other value build or tasks that might be added here because new features uh, of SAM get added to the platform and it helps you stay on top of those new updates and new features that are coming with SAM that you might want to consider creating value builder tasks for so you can start leveraging those particular features or integrations or whatever happens to be new so again keep an eye on this new updates section periodically to see hey this the newest re release so we're at washington now so xanadu once xanadu gets into that state of ga you'll start seeing some updates that might be coming in from xanadu so that uh, finishes up the value builder section. All right, so in this video, we went uh, through an overview of the value builder. We discussed those value builder widgets. We discussed those value builder tasks, and then we demonstrated how to actually go ahead and create some value builder tasks and assign those out to different groups and associate them with your success goals, etc. So for more information on Value Builder, you can go to the ServiceNow product documentation website and take a look at a couple of good um, pages out there, Success Portal Value Builder and Create a Value Builder task, give you some more details on those specific actions. Again, this is part two of a five part video series on the <clears throat> Success Portal. So please make sure you stay tuned for the other videos. Thanks for your time.